Then let me repeat. Bernie Taupin and Elton John won an Oscar. Never happened. Elton John's won an Oscar. Breaking that, breaking news. Yes. Yeah. That was kind of surprising. But that was cool. Uh, he did for Rocket Man. Those guys, uh, yeah. It must be pretty nice to uh, write a song uh, 40 years ago and then. Uh, no, <laughs> they wrote. And then someone he, makes no. a movie about it and then, oh, hey, I no, get to win an they Oscar. Wrote, he too? wrote one original song. This is, no, you have to, this has got to be a new song. He wrote an original song. Ro- what, uh, called Rocket Man? No, it's called I'm going to uh, Move You or I don't know what it's called. But I'll tell you this. Uh, I was at the Oscars yesterday morning, but I did not watch the actual ceremony. So I'm part of the problem. All right. Like well, to, why don't you start going? I've seen all the movies. Parasite was pretty amazing. But I was hoping once upon a time in Hollywood. Ah, Tarantino got Gene, shot Did out. you ever audition for uh, Cisco and Ebert? Mm-hmm. No. Because uh, they, 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 they missed one. Remember how huge they were? Or they're like the only movie reviewers yeah, uh, you can that name. Yeah, that used to be such a big... And they did it in Chicago, which is yeah. really cool. All right. Well, mm-hmm. this is the uh, the Midwest Oh, we're in a forest. It looks like it snowed. Is there going to be a deer that runs behind us, and then you're going to shoot him in the head? Nah, Gene, it's not Bambi. I All think right. deer killing... I'm sorry. Uh, I'm not a hunter, but I think uh, the deer... They, they have to uh, hunt deer because they overrun the state, but I think they were down this year. Well, Gene, deer is, deer are just really fast rats. Have if, you, if you think about it, <laughs> have with, you ever with, gone uh, hunting? Uh, no, I okay. have not. Okay, all right, very good. Me, uh, but I, I got I got nothing against deer, but no. they're, they're just giant rats with antlers, right? I don't think so. Well, okay, let's go that way. They're pretty much the same thing. Yeah, I uh, deer seem more friendly than rats. All right. Well, uh, the, mm. Gene, the only difference between a rat and a squirrel is a puffy tail. Just okay, uh, there you re- go. Remember that. All right. All right. Uh, this is the Midwest Sports mm. Show. And uh, my name is Chris Stotts, and that's Gene Steichen. Hello. And uh, we're in the dog days oh, of the sports world. Well, I'll tell you this. Uh, thank goodness for the Big Ten Network, which I'm new to the past couple months. And so I get to watch all the Iowa wrestling meets. So that makes it So you're awesome. satisfied. Yeah, yeah. As, yeah. Lo- as long as you got uh, Iowa wrestling. I Very good. It's awesome. I did try to watch. I did watch the XFL. I had it on in the background. I looked up a couple times. Yeah, I did not watch one second of the XFL, yeah. and uh, we are not going to talk okay. about the XFL. We'll see what happens with it. I, I can't. Can, wa- I, I haven't watched basketball. Is there are there any XFL teams in the Midwest? Is there like a? Yeah. Um, no. Is there a Chicago team? No, there's not. There's uh, St. Louis. The Battle Bot. The Battle. The Battle Bots. Battle Hawks. The ba- St. The Louis Hawks? Battle. Battle, ba- I think it's the St. Louis Battlehawks. There's two in Texas. What? The, there's only eight teams. Two are in Texas. No, football is big in LA's Texas. LA's got yeah. one. Oh, we couldn't support the Chargers. What do you think we're going to do with an XFL <laughs> team? Look out. Well, Phil Rivers is looking for a job, Gene. Yeah. He could, uh, what is it? Was the Los Angeles Argonauts or something like that? They, or no, the Wildcats. The, 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 the Wildcats. Wildcats. Right, right. Uh, but yeah, Philip Rivers, you'll be on the Bears next year. I just they should name one the Oilers or something like that. Yeah, Duma uh, for defunct uh, NFL teams. Mm. All right, well, Gene, we uh, you know we we not not a whole lot of actual sports to talk about. Um, so we just got a lot of news. Oh, okay, what we're do you gonna got? Uh, you know it's uh, I know the uh, sports world. You know, you got your scores right. and your stats and all that. Yeah, you can keep your stats. But there's oh, Iowa's good in basketball. There's, there's I've been watching Iowa basketball. Uh, Big Ten basketball is good. There's uh, there's news abound. Okay. And uh, you know, we I I know everyone's got uh, work you know to do back in the Midwest. Got right. a, got a lot of shoveling. It's gonna snow, I think, a couple times this week. Got got to cut firewood. Yeah, you got to get through February. Then you can start uh, looking ahead a little Make bit. Make sure the babies have their quilts. <laughs> Make sure they got their onesies on. Yeah. And they're not, uh, you know, make sure the uh, the stove. Yeah, the stove. You know, the fire. Go out there the, and the, chop the, some wood. The chimney. Make sure the chimney's not clogged or what yeah. do you call it? Yeah. Is Put it like a chimney. term? Yeah, that's good. Hello. <laughs> uh, well, we, uh, we're we going to round up the news. Oh. We're going to round up the news. And uh, for those curious, the the date on the show Oh, that's what my cousin David is a, is a day later because we post the because Gene this oh. this was originally a podcast. 
I see. And I still like to call this a podcast. All right. Okay. So, so uh, they... we, we post the show on the Tuesday. Right. Because week. most people are tucked in. Yeah, exactly. They well, had the, a cup of cocoa and they're tucked in. They, uh, they, they, they finished cutting their firewood. Yeah. And the chimney is cleaned out. Yeah. And they're sleeping. I just I never read a bedtime story to an infant. I've never <laughs> had kids, so I guess that part of my life is no, is no Berenstein happen. Bears. No, I. I'm, B- okay. By the way, Berenstein Bears Jewish conspiracy. Wow. Uh, go back to the you've read the Berenstein Bears, right? No. Go back. You know what they are, though, right? Uh, b- I, they're bears. Well, they're they're. It's like a pretty famous kids book. Okay. I, I was. It's no. like a kids book. A bunch of bears living in a city. I don't and know there's like I thirty know. of them. Okay. And as a kid, I wanted to like get them all, but uh, you know, and then you realize it's just a bunch of stupid. Okay. Kids books. I'm out on this book. Uh, <laughs> Jewish conspiracy. They'll go back. Okay. Jewish conspiracy. I'm gonna I'm gonna go through my life without ever <laughs> doing any further research on it. Um. Uh, all right. So we'll do the. Uh, yeah. So anyways. Uh. So we try to keep everything consistent. The day on the uh the YouTube video and okay, the Facebook well, video I, is the next day. Excellent point there. And we have a lot of viewers that watch the show uh Tuesday morning, right, Gene? Uh. Yeah. I believe my mom does. This is too late for my mom. Remember waking up and watching uh Sports Center in the oh, morning yeah. with your cereal. Very exciting. With your Lucky Charms yeah. and your milk. Oh, Lucky Charms. This is uh this is kind of the same way. We got a lot right. of kids in the okay. Midwest. Yeah, watching the show on uh, Tuesday morning, so okay. we don't want to go. We we want to inform. All right, and it is uh, Valentine's Day on Friday, Gene. Oh, it's gonna be a happy Valentine's lonely. Day. Yeah, uh, <laughs> let me see Friday. I'm gonna see. Oh, wait, spin. wait, is there Iowa wrestling? <laughs> yes, they do Jesus wrestle. Christ. but I don't know if it's Friday. Uh, they do have a match. This it's weekend. gotta be weird. Like you're uh, you're pushing uh, pushing down on some uh, other fourteen year old's body on Valentine's Day. Yeah. Hey, maybe maybe they should I, cancel that's what wrestling. That's I did when I was 14. Uh, I'm going to see Sting this week. He He's doing a musical he wrote. And so, uh, but so yeah. he, he'll maybe, if he's not doing anything on Friday, I'll ask him to be my Valentine. <laughs> him and Trudy. That's his. They fuck for eight hours at a time, Gene. Oh, uh, I know. That tangier, tangent, sex, whatever the hell it is. I mean, Gene, I, I mean, you listen. I, I mean,. Uh, you, you hear this thing about having sex for eight hours or twelve right. hours straight or whatever. Right. That's not that impressive, Gene. The the impressive part is he did it with one woman. That's the impressive part. Yeah, that is. I good mean, I, I could uh, give me like fourteen different women. I'm good. Right. But God, the same chick. Yeah. All right. You banging you, you banging Stink. the same chick for twelve hours? All right. Well, I'll tell him that. Yeah. I'll see him Thursday. You're a bigger man than me, Sting. Uh, I'm going to see him at the uh, uh, <laughs> Amundsen Theater in L.A. Thursday. So I'll tell him that. I'll ask him, go, how do you keep it so fresh with Trudy? <laughs> Very impressive. Jesus Sting. Christ. Yeah. And this is before uh, you know all the all the dick pills. Oh boy. Right. Yeah, well, what's know. what is it called? I don't even know the name of these uh, pills anymore. Cialis. What's yeah, what's Viagra. the old one? Viagra. There you go. Yeah. All right, Greg Olson. Well, Gene, we're going to go to the. Bear. Speaking of Viagra, uh, the I big wanted blue to pill. go to the Bears. Well, uh, t- former Bear, Greg Olson. They traded him one of their worst trades ever, and they've had some doozies. Well, it's a good thing they traded him before he uh, broke his leg trying to uh, catch a ball, because that seems to be a, an issue with uh, but he uh, had Bears so tight ends. Gr- oh, yeah. The Bears. Oh, what but a Greg, mess. Greg Olson's long run with the Panthers officially came to an end when he was released Monday. Yeah, uh, but of course, Carolina was not the only team he's played for during his NFL career. Olsen was selected in the first round of 2007. Yeah, good God, seven! That was a long yeah, ass time ago. Yeah, 34, I think. It's uh, 13 years ago. Yep. By the Bears, and he called Chicago home until he was traded to the Panthers ahead of the 2011 season. Yeah, that was the year after they lost to the Packers in the uh, and championship. Game, and right? he wants. I he was on Chicago radio. He said he would love to talk to the Bears, but uh, alas, well, the Bears are too good for him. During an appearance on ESPN 1000, in uh, Chicago which I listened to, Olsen said he was hoping to hear from the team now that he's on the open market. No. There's no call to come in yet. Oh my gosh, the Bears! I'll, I'll be honest, he said. In my heart, I was hoping that they would have been one of the first calls, Olsen said. To my knowledge, we have not heard from them. Whether or not they knew not is, is, or do or not is hard to say. Mm, they won't. Uh, they, they, they're just backwards. Yeah, and they're I, tight ends. They got the worst setup. I don't think it's happening, Greg. Yeah. I. But, yeah. Gene, can, can you imagine Greg Olsen and Mitch Trubisky <laughs> on the same team? Hey, maybe he could help save Mitch. 
The Ku Klux Klan is uh, has yeah. a new favorite team, Gene. What? Two white guys. Oh, okay. Two white guys uh, playing position players. Hey, there there is a talk today. Could Trubisky start for the XFL teams? And I don't, <laughs> I probably some of them, but I don't know if he could beat out Cardell Jones or there's a couple guys that are pretty good. I think. Um. Uh, so uh, yeah, great. So geez. good luck, Greg. Cool. Come back to the Bear. Well, I want. I well, they're I, not. I, I, I like mean, them. Greg they're, is trying to try to get ten million dollars, right? I mean, is he going to well, get that he's much? He's going to go to uh, Seattle or somewhere. He should. Yeah, we'll see. Yeah, yeah he's going to have to take a massive yeah. take on Amazon, right? right? Like I know anything about uh, NFL contracts. Yeah. All right, there you go. We we let off with uh, Greg Olson, go. Gene. I believe that could be a. Fun. By the way, should we talk about the uh, Oscars really quick? I we you kind of mentioned that earlier. Yeah. Um, you you like to go down to the yeah, uh, to the there, red carpet outside there, well, the cage because I go to the gym every day and I walk down uh, Hollywood every day. I was there every day. Yesterday you can walk down Hollywood, but it was really cool the setup. But uh, yeah, then today I was walking down there and they're, they're tearing, they're it, tearing down. it down. It's not done yet, but yeah. Uh, but uh, not good ratings. Parasite was really good. Was great. Did fact. you watch it? You actually yeah, watch yeah. it? Did, well, you, I mean, do you I get screeners? screeners? You get yeah. screeners? Yeah. Damn. Because I had to vote on all this stuff. Uh, I I didn't. I w- I wanted Once Upon a Time in Hollywood to win. So. Do you get that as a screener? Yeah, I had that. You should uh, give it. You don't have to return them, right? Uh uh-uh. uh Ah, Gene. Well, Gene. Well. <laughs> Come on now. <laughs> I know. I give them Why don't you help me. out your co-hosts here? I'm sorry. Yeah, I get all the movies. Did you get 1917 as a screener? Uh. Yeah, probably. Jesus, but they don't they have like text on the uh, screen or something like that. Yeah, they threaten you if you if it falls into the wrong hands, you, the FBI is coming after you. All right, well, I don't think the Academy of the Motion Picture Arts and Sciences is watching the Midwest Sports all Show right. well, then, on YouTube. Then I so uh, I mean, you're definitely yeah, not. Yeah, I got all the bombshell Jojo Rabbit in it. All the I want, I want, hey, Jojo Rabbit. Jeez, Christ. Yeah. What do you do with all these DVDs? You just have all these DVDs in your house? No, I gave them to Mimi. <laughs> The girl I used to go out with. and uh, We went and saw Star Oh, I finally saw Star Wars. I think I was the last person to see it. because Well, I haven't w- seen <coughs> it, but... Uh, so I'm probably the last person. We saw it at that, the theater. We're the only two people there. Oh, yeah? <coughs> but it was pretty good. It was good. Yeah. Yeah? All right. J.J. Abrams directed it. <laughs> Carrie Fisher. Sad. But she was in it. Yeah, yeah. All, all of them. Harrison Ford, Mark Hamill. Oh, <laughs> well, Harrison yeah. Ford died in the first one, so uh, well, he was a ghost that. in this one or something. Oh, he was you, in this but one. You can't be a ghost if you're not a force user. I like, don't what? know. He he talked. Maybe oh the guy was God. imagining him. I can't follow all this stuff. But he was in this one, giving advice to somebody. See, this is there. There. I'm sorry. Listen, this sounds really stupid, but oh, there he, are, there are rules to Star Wars. Right. Okay? He was giving it. He was talking to Adam Driver. Right, but I mean Han Solo doesn't have any force powers, so how was he gonna? I know that. Okay, I mean Obi Wan Kenobi was a Jedi master. That's yeah, why he was I able to uh, transcend that, space that, and time and I become didn't a. Uh, have a chance to ask J. J. Abrams. Yet. Yeah, that, <laughs> that's all I need to know about the uh, the the, the right, last Star Wars movie here? is that Han Solo is a ghost. Yeah, well, he's not a ghost. Maybe he just imagined. He's a force ghost. Know. Okay, whatever. All right. Yeah. All right, Gene. We got other news. Yeah. To talk about, uh, Edron James uh-huh. is uh, going to be was elected to the Hall of Fame. Did you know this, Gene? Yes, I did. Did you hear this? Yes, Ed- I, I knew right away. Edron James, I know he had a good career. Well, Gene, who voted for the for this guy? I don't know because they put in the a lot of the Colts. The only one for as many guys that are getting in from the Colts, you'd think they won ten Super Bowls. Maybe Payne Manning is uh, twisting some arms. <laughs> Cashing yeah, in some favors. All those guys in. He's Reggie like, Wayne. He's like all these offensive corners that I made rich because I made you guys look so good. You got to vote for Edge. Yeah. So. And then uh, again, Gene, I asked, who who's voting for this guy? There's a committee. Uh, the Yahoo Fantasy Football Writers of America. <laughs> yes, them. Remember back in the '90s, right. Gene, when like uh, Edgerton James was like the number one pick for every fantasy football league. This I, is before yeah, your time, yeah, I think. There's no way I. But I remember that. in high school when uh, people were playing fantasy football and all these magazines and books telling you what you know because they didn't have the internet back then, right? Yeah, yeah. Not that we have it today, but it was Edgerton James, Edgerton James, Edgerton mm-hmm. James, and then um, 
Marshall Falk kind of uh, took right, his place right. uh, in the late nineties. But uh, um, yeah, I you know, do you have any moments? Any no. any Edron James moment? Can you I name know. one play no. that he turned the game around? No. I one I mean, stat. He, I mean, uh, he was in a dynamic offense and he got some yards, got a bunch of yards. <laughs> that's all I know. Um, um and uh, Edron James picks Jim Ursray. Oh. Or Ursay. Ursay. As his presenter for the Hall of Fame ceremony. Yeah. Well, let me tell you something, Gene. That's going to be one fun party. <laughs> hey, Jim, he's on the up and up now, isn't he? The only problem, though, Gene, is no one going to remember it the night yeah, from before. Right. So. Well, maybe he's back on the pills. He, Jim Ursay had some problems. But maybe he's got that worked out. I, I love how Jim Ursay yeah. gets uh, picked up with, like, uh, 138 yeah. uh, Oxycontin right. in a pillow bag. Yeah. Uh, what well, got got suspended for like what a game? Yeah, or something. Mm-hmm. Meanwhile, uh, some guy gets caught with a uh, blunt uh, roach in his uh, ashtray. Suspended. Josh yeah, yeah. Gordon, get out of here, buddy. Get out of here. See ya, Josh. Yeah. Nice try. Yeah. I think I gotta figure that out. That's what the new CBA is gonna do. They're gonna let them take <laughs> pills and smoke pot. No problem. Smoke. Most of the guys probably don't smoke. They just edibles. I don't know what they do. Okay. Anyway, right. good job, Ed. Great. Edge, edge, edge. Yeah, I mean, hey, heck of a player, sure. Yeah, uh, be- better football player than I ever would be. I guess. But uh, I mean, Hall of Famer. Yeah. Well, they should have right. won more titles, probably. Well, Gene, sad news out oh, of Cleveland. Oh my gosh, this dog was only six, wasn't he? Browns mascot Swagger the dog. Yeah. Dies at the age of six. Six, boy. Man, that's uh. That's a tough break for that's, a dog. That's a lot of stress for a dog, I guess. If you're the dog for the Browns, <laughs> there's yeah. a lot of stress, I guess, huh? That's you, it. You get a new it's coach every goddamn year? You, you have no idea who's feeding you anymore? Oh, my gosh. Yeah. yeah. You'd be stressed, too, Gene. Yeah. He's got that federal lawsuit hanging over him with the Flying J truck yeah. stops. Your, your owner's a crook? Wow. Joe, Joe Thomas quits on you? Yeah. Your only good boy? Poor guy. Six years, Gene. That that's still a longer career than Johnny Menzel. Oh, Johnny can't even land in the XFL. <laughs> Jeez. Tough break. God, man. Tough break, doggy. Poor dog. Yeah. All right. This one I don't know who this Stins guy rude. is. Stin's rude. Well, I think we actually spoke about this. I uh, bet he's a last, soccer guy. Last last year. But uh, according to Associated Press, former NFL defensive lineman oh. Mike Stensrud. Oh, that guy. Okay. He's was arrested no for drinking during a May 21st meeting of the Winnebago County Board of Supervisors, of which he's been a member. Right. A breath test at the scene showed them he was above the legal limit for driving. He also told police he had a pistol in his pocket. Nice. That's always so a good Winnipeg combo. Count, that's, uh, that's Iowa. That's an Iowa City. I believe it he, was in Iowa. I believe he pa- played for the Bears, too, right? Am I uh, wrong about yeah, that? Yeah, Bears or Packers, I think. All right, so I I don't know. I only copied one paragraph of the sen- of right. the story, Gene, so I don't know why, why. If this happened in May, why was he arrested now? Did he plead guilty? I don't know. Mm. Uh, but all I do know is that uh, this guy was drunk and was carrying a pistol around to an Iowa uh, su- county supervisor. It was meeting. a tough week for Iowa. But the good thing is we made the Oscar, the top of the Oscar telecast, because uh, Steve Martin said, he, he said, uh, we have a new accountant firm. Uh, they're the same one that oh, did yeah? the Iowa caucus app. All right, so that's kind of funny. Yeah, it was good. Got a good response. Oh, by Iowa, the way, should we talk about Iowa? Well, I mean, well, this was their big week to, to shine the spotlight, and it got all screwed up. Yeah, to fo- focus on the uh, good aspects of the yeah. corn huskers. Yeah. No, no, no. That's okay. Nebraska, right? Nebraska's Cornhuskers. But Hawkeyes. Iowa had the political spotlight on them, and wow, it went sideways. Well, did your but mom go to the caucusing? She did not. She's too well, old may- for that. Well, she could have given us reports. She votes. She votes. But uh, they did vote for Mayor Pete. It was a tie between Mayor Pete and Bernie. Uh, Joe Biden, ooh, that's going to be a tough one. But I like that Iowa voted. They're very progressive. Vote for uh, Mayor Pete. You know? and, With and an Bernie. app. Yeah. It was a disaster. This the fi- they're still not sure what happened. I guess, yeah. Uh, yep. So there you go. Mm. All right, Gene, and then we're gonna move over to uh, some more football. The football season news never ends. How, how never this ends. Guy's still around. He well, 
Of course, you're talking about uh, Dom Capers. Yeah. Former Packers defensive coordinator. Uh, was added to the Vikings staff to the 2020 Senior Defensive Assistant. What the hell does that mean? What is that? They're <laughs> just creating stuff now. That can't be a real um, job. Well, Gene, all I can say is the uh, in St. Paul, yeah, the price of two pays is about to go up. <laughs> His hair, it, it, yeah, pretty on, right? Less supply, more demand, Gene. Economics, yeah. economics. He was considered. I don't know. Uh, he, he had well. He got he got lucky that year in 2010 with the uh, the Packers defense, and then that's why kind of ruined that. So he basically, yeah, p- pretty much like Mark McCarthy. Uh, Mike McCarthy pretty much ruled that for the next eight years. Mike McCarthy is going to be great for the Cowboys. Oh, we'll just we shall see. Yeah, we shall see. All right, and then uh, Brett Belima. 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 Uh, he was a Hawkeye. He played at Iowa. Then he was a assistant coach there. Then he coached the ba- he was great at the Badgers. And I told him, do not leave Wisconsin. Do not you're welcome there. Everyone loves you. Oh no. He had to go to Arkansas where it blew up in his face. I was gonna say Pat. And I, and I guess nice. and I guess he's he was coaching for the Patriots. Well, he was an assistant coach for the Patriots. I know he's yeah. he's, he's he's here's a picture with a Patriots shirt on. Yeah, he was there. I'm last guessing year. that's that's all the confirmation yeah, I need. Year. Well, apparently he's interested in a Michigan State head coaching job. Gene. Yeah, I don't think I think that's going to be a tough sell. Well, Gene, uh, let me just tell you, the grass is always greener when you're a douchebag. <laughs> Stabbing those. Ba- I mean, he had a great job at Wisconsin. Wow. Yeah. Well, you uh, you love the integrity of a coach that quits on his team right, uh, right. only to get fired. Yeah. Uh, four years down the road, and now he wants back in. I don't think I, – I think Michigan State, that's a tough one. Mike D'Antoni, it, it was kind of – or Mark D'Antoni, uh, it was kind of a tough – He it's probably time for him to leave, but wow. Good luck selling that to the boosters. <coughs> Gene, Brett, Brett Belima as a uh, Michigan State head coach makes me want to puke. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> He should do well. Wow, That's a good joke. That. That's a good yeah, joke. Very good. He's got. He's an emotional eater. If you ever notice. Well, his name is Belima. Okay. Yeah, right, <laughs> Jesus right. Christ. Gosh, she was good at Wisconsin, though. But he was a disaster everywhere else. So. All right. And then uh, from one controversial college coach to wow. another. Uh, legendary former college basketball coach Bob Knight returned Saturday to the home court of the school that fired him 20 years ago. That was 20 years wow. ago, Gene. Yeah. When yeah. Bobby Knight was fired. Right, fired. right, right, right. He was he, he was fucking old then. I know. He was a dinosaur back in that, those he, days, 20 he, years well, ago. He's only 79, I think. Uh, it's pretty amazing, but he's in really poor. Yeah, it looks pretty bad in this. He's <laughs> I, supposedly. In this photo. Uh, wow, maybe that's why he's back and, there. And he got fired from like Texas Tech too, yes, right? Yes, he did. Jeez. Yeah. So it wasn't was, uh, because it's f- it's okay to be angry and yell at everyone and be a big old bully when you're winning. Well, it's not great, but you can kind of get away with it. But when you're mediocre and doing that, uh oh, a little okay. harder, a little harder to. Yeah, uh, and it's hard to sell the kids on that kind of stuff. Uh, nobody wants to play for that. Oh, Oof. but he did win three titles, so there you go. Uh, he was there to celebrate the 40th anniversary of uh, Indiana's uh, 1980 Big Ten Championship, uh, which is coached, which he coached. Fans, both old, young and old, gave Knight a standing ovation. First of all, these kids weren't even born. I know. When this guy uh, was uh, choking yeah. the, the previous Terrorizing generation. the community. Was, was the kid who he choked, was his kid there? Is, uh, is this kid know. like a center now? What? Neil Reed. Yeah. Oh, gee, that, that's, that's worse than naming the whistleblower. Huh? Right, right, right. Yeah. Uh, the Hoosiers were taken on Purdue University. The team ultimately lost 74 to 62. All right. There you go. Mm. What, Jay, hey, Gene. Yeah. The uh, Indiana lost that game. Right. What a, what a choke job, huh? Yeah. That was a game. <laughs> when they won, the game he threw the chair across the court, I think that was against Purdue, maybe. I'm not. I'm not. I, I should. Uh, whatever. It doesn't really matter. But <laughs> he was angry. He had anger. He never really addressed that. His anger issues. I don't think. Very unpleasant. Yep. And that's what happened. Then you get old and you're just angry. Yep. 
Talk to Rosebud. Yeah. Probably his, oh, pr- yeah, his right, sleigh is right, probably, right, uh, yeah. or his sled is probably somewhere back home. All right, and then uh, we got Pete Rose news. Get him okay. in there. Trump is behind him. Sir Trump, <laughs> president, our president. Pete Rose asked the MLB for reinstatement. You got to do it. Cites no punishment for Astro players for right, electric right. sign stealing. The, there cannot be one set of rules for Mr. Rose and another for everyone else, his 20-page petition to Manfred says. Uh, Jane, does he have a point? Yes. Get just forget it. He's gonna. He's only. What is he? Eighty now. You get him in it. I don't know. I'm. I'm just like. Let's get this over with, right? I mean, even if they they make him eligible, it doesn't mean he's gonna get voted in. A lot of those writers will hold the grudge. But yeah, don't you think? Well, Gene, he should have made his bets bashing on trash cans. Maybe he'd be in the uh, <laughs> oh Hall my of Fame. Gosh, it's terrible what Houston did. I don't know. Well, Gene, what's uh, Pete Rose? Pete right. Rose getting to the Hall of Fame. What's the over/under on that one, huh, Pete? I wow, I think it'll happen someday. But we, the thing is, you want it to happen while he's alive. Otherwise, do you? I don't. Oh, okay. <laughs> he's well, a jerk. Yeah. Okay. I all right. So was Ty does, Cobb, wasn't he? Does <laughs> yeah. Wasn't Ty Cobb uh, mean to kids? Well, and, and black people. Oh, okay. But well, uh, it, and Gene, if you're a black kid, forget about it. Right. Right. Um. Uh. So. Um. Yeah. Let's. Um. Yeah, Pete. It's okay, Pete. We don't. We don't. I don't know. Uh, does anyone really miss Pete? Any, anyone no, go to the Hall of Fame? Be like, hey, where's Pete Rose? I don't. Where's Pete Rose? I mean, it's not really. Just crazy. Do, do, do we got a bunch of kids? Got a yeah. bunch of fourteen-year-old kids demanding Pete Rose go to the Hall of Fame? Right. Right. Yeah. The only people that want Pete Rose in the Hall of Fame are Donald Trump. And mm-hmm. Pete Rose's agent, who's trying to make money off a bunch of memorabilia he's got signed yeah. in the back room. Yeah. He's not shy about signing. <laughs> yeah. Um, all right. And then um, I, I forgot to add the story here. But oh. uh, Gene, you know who, uh, you know, of course, uh, A.J. Cora, is that his name or whatever? Oh, yeah. From uh, the, Alex the Reds. Cora? Alex Cora. Alex from Cora. The Re- A.J. Right. Hench is the uh, Houston. A.J. Hench and Alex Cora and the guy. Uh, Carlos Beltran, they all got fired. Right. So uh, Alex Cora's replacement. Oh, he's his yeah. former Brewer manager, oh. Ron Renneke. Wow. He was the manager that got the Brewers to the uh, NLCS okay. against the Cardinals, where the Cardinals uh, destroyed the. I, I think it was four two, something yeah. like that. Um, and then uh, Renicky had a great season where they were like twenty and nine or something like that after the first thirty games, and then uh, they were like way ahead of everyone in the division. Proceeded to go five hundred, did not make the playoffs, and then started like four and like nineteen oh. or something like that. And that's when he was fired. Uh, mm. So good luck, uh, Boston. Wow, you have a very mediocre coach. Man, the Boston fans are pissed. Not only they, I think they really liked uh, uh, Alex Cora, and then uh, this whole Mookie Betts thing. I, I can understand because they love the guy; he's their MVP. He won him a World Series, and then they said, "Well, we can't afford him." Well, if you can't afford him, who can? The Cubs can't either. So, well, they're they're trading him for like a uh, a, a ca- catcher p- prospect. Yeah. A catcher? I mean, I mean it's, it's not... They're just clearing payroll. They're doing what the Cubs are doing. But I mean, it's not Mike Piazza or anything, right? Yeah. I mean, it's not Joe DiMaggio. What, what are these teams... I mean, Boston and the Cubs are both cutting payroll. Who are the big market teams that are paying I mean, players? Yoga Barrett, not Joe DiMaggio. Yeah. Well, and then they're they're giving L.A. cash. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. And they only would have had, they only would have had to pay like $12 million for like... I think they paid like $12 million last year for like the luxury tax or something like that. Yeah. Um. Anyways, uh, yeah. Good luck, Boston. Mm-hmm. I mean, th- there's two outcomes, possible outcomes here, Gene. Yeah. Either that, he, he well, he pulls a he pulls a Ned Yost. Remember, Ned Yost right, used right. to coach the Brewers and yeah. took the KC to the championship twice. They won twice, right? Or they only won? No, one? they won. They lost the first year in okay. seven, and then they won the next year. Um. So either uh, pulls a Ned Yost and becomes a legend. Or we get to hear Bill Simmons bitch about him for the next oh three goddamn God. years. Oh, Bill. Yeah. Sometimes. Hey, Bill, you never said right. anything about Ron Renke when he was the coach for the Brewers, huh? Now we got to listen to this crap. Right, right. Wow. Bill. Yeah, I know. There's so much. It's so tough, and I listen to it all the time. About 
Ah, the Cubs aren't spending. Or they'll b but a lot of teams aren't spending. They're just so those big. I don't know if Mookie Betts is going to get a four hundred million dollar contract or whatever. You know. Oh, he'll get it. Some team will get it. Who? I mean, why not the Dodgers? The Dodgers will pay for like a superstar mm -hmm. like that. For I mean, who? Yeah, maybe. Who? Who else they got? I mean, Jock Peterson. The yeah. To well, I mean, they got the MVP, Cody Bellinger. They're yeah. Gonna well, they're going to send Jock Peterson to the Angels, right? Were they not? Yeah, but he's not. T he right. doesn't cost them. But Cody. Yeah. Whatever. Oh, go Cubs! I hope. It, the, hey, the Cubs are in spring. They got there early. Uh, probably every did every team get there, but the Cubs are. Uh, got way early. Oh, they got they started spring training yeah. today. All right, great spring yeah. training. Mm -hmm. The only thing I, I uh, that uh, that makes me nervous about spring training is uh, when MLB tries to charge me for the package again. Like uh, that's that's what I'm waiting most is uh, oh, yeah. I got to make sure these guys don't auto charge me for the new season. All right. And then, Gene, we have a uh, story out of the great city of Milwaukee. Oh, I love MK. Milwaukee. I'm going to try to go to a Bucks game in April. Oh, yeah? In Milwaukee? or In uh, Milwaukee, because I want to see their new arena. But, yeah, I'm, I'm at right. Thursday night game, uh, I think, April 9th. You're going to go to opening uh, game, Brewers-Cubs? Uh, no, I'm going to uh, Cardinals-Cubs Sunday night baseball, April 12th. Which will probably be zero degrees and snowing, but yeah, I'm going. I'm going. Cubs have four games against the Cardinals. I'm going or three that weekend. All right. Yeah. Well, Gene, uh, news out of Milwaukee. I love Milwaukee. A Milwaukee gas station is fighting to keep its business license. Uh oh. After an amateur porn star recorded a sex video oh, in the yeah. snack aisle. Nice. That's awesome, right? Uh, Fox 6 investigation finds the man who shot and participated in the video makes big money by making six videos in public places all over the Milwaukee area. Yeah. And apparently he's a, uh, a celeb on uh, Pornhub. Oh, okay. Um, I'm not a follower of his. I don't know. Who is the guy? N uh, I'm not Gene. You know, this, oh, this, okay. is, this is a, this is an adult, or I'm All sorry, right. a, a, okay. a, a family show. I can't trick you. You know, uh, yeah. again, Gene, you like to name whistleblowers. Right, right. I I don't name uh, cock blowers. Okay, wow. not on this show. Wow. All right. Yeah. Um, but basically, the story is this guy goes around and uh, is just banging all these chicks in public places in Milwaukee, like a like a Walmart. Yeah. I guess like a McDonald's parking lot, all this stuff, making ten G's a week. Or making ten G's a month, I think, something wow. like that. And Gene in Milwaukee, that's that's big money. That is, you could live pretty good in Milwaukee for that. Yeah, you could, you could buy a County Stadium for that kind of money. Wow. Yeah. And uh, so why why is the business owner, why is the liquor store owner, uh, in trouble? Well, uh, this guy was uh, banging this chick uh, in the snack aisle next to uh, the Fritos. The uh, business owner uh, just stood by and watched. Mm. Didn't say no. Didn't say didn't say call the police. Didn't say not here, not don't mm. get out of here. Mm. Watched. Just sat. Well, watch. uh, gee, I mean, he was probably Boyer. just in case the girl needed some extra help. I guess right, right? afterwards, right. maybe. Yeah. Yeah. You know. Uh, um, yeah. So, uh, anyways, the uh, the business owner is uh, being threatened to have his uh, license taken away. And uh, the community is rallying around him, Gene. Oh, the porn guy? Well, no, the uh, the, oh, the, 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 the the gas station owner, oh, whatever they got. Okay. So, uh, right. yeah. Hey, it's a heartwarming story right out of Milwaukee. Yeah. Why would Giannis want to leave there? Yeah, exactly. Giannis, I'm going to tell you, he's you stay away. He, the Bucks are going to win a title, hopefully this year. And Giannis is not going anywhere. I hope. Uh, Giannis is leaving as soon. I as think he he's got to be there. Well, he's got to be there this year and next year. And then he might be a free agent, but I hope he doesn't go anywhere. Don't go, Giannis. Don't go. The people of Wisconsin right. need you. They need you. Well, uh, that's the show, Gene. All right. Goes a little quicker when we don't actually have to talk about sports, huh? Yeah, a little bit, a little bit smoother. It's exciting, though. Yeah, a lot. We we covered a lot. I yeah. think. I think you got a lot of uh, good news. If uh, you know, forget Sports Center for the next week. Yeah. I hope everyone finds a Valentine, us two included. I'm not really looking. I'm fine. No, I I should say yeah. Everyone but me. I'm <laughs> fine. 
Well, Gene, uh, Wait, you don't have to admit self-defeat. Complicate. Well, I shouldn't say that. Some well, relationships Gene, are really good. Relationships, they always want to have the sound on when you're watching yeah, football. Yeah, there's a lot and, that uh, I would. I am so, yeah. And, uh, hey, Gene, uh, maybe we shouldn't be spending $500 to go to the Bears game That's uh, right. versus oh, the Packers. That would have been a tough sell. Yeah, it's yeah. like, uh, how about we go clothes shopping instead? Yeah. No, you're trying to. <laughs> oh, boy. Gene, your girlfriend is uh, live sports. Yeah, all right? that's right. You know, okay, they, I, yeah, they say that some gr- some guys are married to the sea. Right. You're married to that thrill. I am. Of watching uh, millionaires play a, professional, right. a game in doing front of you. Something like that. Yeah. Being yep. barely able to afford them doing. So, okay, you're right. Yep. I'm happy being single. Yep. All right. Well, so I think that's going to be it. So um, let me get the music going. So for Gene Steichen, let's see if I can get this going here. My well, name. Uh, eh, happy <laughs> yeah. Have a great Valentine's Day. All right. Well, everyone have a great Valentine's yeah, Day. there you go. May you, from find, may you find love in all the. From your friends at the Midwest Sports Show. My in name a is Chris Stotts. In a gas station. That's Gene Steichen. Yeah. See you guys. That's, next that week. is such a great. That's so great for Milwaukee. That story.